In season one, your goal should be to get up to 280 total season one cards because that is going to unlock you the first boss choice pack from season one. But most importantly, it will unlock you the head start rewards that will allow you to progress along season two a lot quicker. Currently, you are able to get up to 78 cards by just playing the game and it all starts with the cornerstone pack, the one that everyone got for free. If you go inside the collect tab and then go into exchanges and then press exchange players you will see that you are actually able to exchange whatever player you originally selected for one of the other three but as of right now we have byron buxton why is he grayed out why can't we exchange him you might be asking well it will be if byron buxton is either inside of one of your event squad lineups inside one of your mini seasons lineup or if he's inside of the managed squad screen he will not be able to be exchanged. So you either need to forfeit your event run and not re-enter. You either need to forfeit your mini season season or just edit the roster and take Byron Buxton out of it. Or you need to go into however many squads have Byron Buxton or whatever cornerstone captain you selected and take that player out on each one of those squads. Now, when you do take that player out in each one of those squads, the next step is going to be to go towards collect. And inside of collections, you are going to go to season collections. Inside of season collections, you are going to scroll down towards that cornerstone captain. You are going to select him and then you are going to press start or options, whichever is the case to allow you to select players. And you are going to lock that singular player in. Once you have locked that singular player in, what you're going to do is back out go into the exchanges tab and inside of the exchanges tab you are going to exchange your now collected Byron Buxton and what is that going to give you it's going to give you a cornerstone pack which you will be able to select the other three players and do the same exact process three times and then reselect whichever player it is that you actually want to go ahead and play with through this method I was able to collect all four and keep the player that I want to play with. Currently at four, to get to six, it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and knock out the starter program, which you most likely have already knocked out because most of the missions, as well as the things to do, you do as you play whatever game mode you like inside of Diamond Dynasty. And by completing this, you will earn an additional two non-sellable season one cards totaling six thus far staying inside of other programs we also have the spring breakout program which is going to give you a total of seven non-sellable cards totaling 13 non-sellable cards thus far before jumping on to the next one make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell check out the description for the twitch social medias make sure you guys are following and the soon to be discord keep in mind that tomorrow the 27th or not tomorrow but in two days the 27th we are getting a free diamond player pack that will also be added to this list of season one collectible cards team affinity which is probably the easiest to do in years is going to give you an additional 30 season one cards so if these additional 30 season one cards we have pushed it all the way from 13 to 43 total season one cards that are non-sellable staying inside of programs we have the season one xp reward path now i'm at 204k let me know how far you are within this xp program i would say that the average player is at 150k and if you're at 150k or let's push it a little bit further and let's say 165k if you are at 165k that is an additional five non-sellable diamonds so we're at 48 total diamonds thus far but let me tell you something inside this entire xp reward path there are going to be 18 non-sellable diamonds for you to collect to go ahead and add towards the collection and as of right now there is actually someone that is all the way up to 585,000 experience and just in case you didn't believe me if you go to the athletics and then you go to their flashbacks you will see that raleigh fingers has actually been, been discovered by real pudgy panda and he was discovered today the 25th so he most likely is going to be the first one to discover all of the diamonds along the reward path. Many seasons don't really give you an incentive to play, 
But if you were to go ahead and play an entire mini season, and I'm not talking about Team Affinity mini season, I'm talking about the classic mini season, the only thing you would be getting is one non sellable season one, and that is going to be Salvador Perez. The Team Affinity season one does not give you any non sellable cards except for the Team Affinity cards that you would unlock with the vouchers. So, in total, we are at 49. Inside of Conquest, the Nation of Baseball Conquest map is going to give you a total of nine non sellable diamonds once you have completed certain divisions in totality and once you have completed the map you also get some packs as well and 89 overall stand usual so adding to that is going to be as i said nine non-sellable diamonds we are currently sitting at 58 going into multiplayer mode we're going to go inside of ranked inside of the rank program you are going to be able to obtain yourselves this andrew mccutcheon as well as one of the world series packs now these guys are sellable but let's say you don't want to sell them and you want to keep them towards the collections which is what i would strongly advise that would be two players right there and then if we look at it towards rating we will see that at 600 excuse me not 600 500 you get yourselves season one andres muñoz which is going to be an additional one. So now this is going to be three sellable season one diamonds that you can obtain from just playing ranked, pushing us all the way up to 61. Of course, if you get all the way to World Series rating or if you do multiple programs such as the co-op program or go through World Series and co-op, you are going to be able to obtain much more. But let's just say you are a player that completed the program and got to 500 rating and then called it a day best program to probably do if you're talking about multiplayer modes would be battle royale why you might ask well battle royale is actually going to give you four season one silver cards four season one gold cards and then four diamond season one cards along with a non-sellable flawless choice between joe mauer and eric gagne so that's 13 total cards from battle royale pushing us all the way to 74 my numbers might get a little bit messed up if i'm not telling you the total every single time but we are at 74 currently one thing i suggest despite these guys being sellable do not sell them because eventually you're gonna have to buy them back if you want to complete the season one collections or in general by not selling them now and not even let's say collecting them inside the season one collections in the future as they become more rare you will be able to go ahead and probably sell them at a higher price point but i still wouldn't sell them i just lock them in now so you can be stress-free because in the future who knows if you're even going to be playing events on the other hand are only going to give you two sellable diamonds so in total we're looking at 76 with 76 diamonds what is that going to get you well for collecting 30 inside the season one collection you are getting yourselves craig biggio so that is going to now put us at 77 and for collecting 70 you get 91 john franco so that is going to put us at 78 now of course i do want to say that there are players that you can obtain from the show shop or from pre-ordering the game or doing special collections along the game that would give you additional players to go ahead and add to your total in terms of the season one collection but i'm not counting those players because those players aren't necessarily free to obtain in terms of no money spent if you just went ahead and got the basic version of the game instead of pre-ordering early access or going out of your way to buy packs in order to pull some of these more rare diamonds so anything inside of the show shop that you cannot get for free we did not count but, of course, through the XP reward path, as well as your own pack luck, you might have been able to pull some of these guys. And the decision of whether or not to sell cards is always up to you. But before you sell any card, you have to ask yourself this important question. If I do sell them, what am I going to use the stubs for? And if you're not going to use the stubs to invest for roster update predictions, let's say, for example, or to buy a card that you really want to use, then you might as well hold on to that player and use them unless he's just completely unusable. If he's completely unusable to you, then you might as well sell him. But if not, then going towards the collections probably wouldn't be a bad idea.
if you guys did end up enjoying today's content make sure to hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell once again check out the description for the discord that's soon to come twitch channel second m will be the show channel as well as my social medias go and follow if you're not following already have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out gangsters